So the question is, who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Love is the greatest virtue because to love is to know God and do His will. And I have never been so sure who than anything before Like I am in this moment here with you Christy, the first time our paths crossed, I saw the very special exceptional woman that you are. Your radiant beauty both inside and out. I will never take you or your love for granted. And I will cherish you forever. We've already had many adventures and made wonderful memories. And I'm looking forward to the rest of our lives together. You are wise, work hard, and are always productive. You manage your life, home, and family so well. You spend your time doing good. You are a beautiful and godly woman. I love you with all my heart forever. From the first time we met, I have been in awe of this perfectly orchestrated love story that has beautifully unfolded over the last two and a half years. There's no doubt that God was the great author of this. God knew my needs and he sent me you. In you, I have found a love that I have never known. You are kind, honest, loyal, dependable, patient, and forgiving. I promise to love you with all that I have on good days and bad days for the rest of my life. I promise to tell you every day how much I love you and how much I appreciate all that you do. I promise to honor you both in your presence as well as when you are not around, always speaking kind words about you to others. All of these things I vow to you today as I have the privilege of becoming your wife. But you may now kiss the bride officially. The scripture in Numbers says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark Stone. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Stone.